I've been told that there's a pretty epic restaurant here in Gommel called Stari Vremia. Stari Vremia means old times. I think you'll see why when we get there. It's like a, a Soviet themed restaurant. And I've always wanted to try a certain type of soup called Salyanka, which is a traditional kind of soup that people in this part of the world eat. I haven't tried it yet, Salyanka. I want to go and try some. See what this Belarusian soup is like. Soviet soup, whatever you want to call it. And a glass of kvass. Kvass is a traditional kind of fermented drink that people drink here. So, let's try and find the restaurant. Let's order some food, it's about lunchtime. Hopefully they'll let me film inside the restaurant. If it's an interesting place. I mean, who knows? I think it should be, a Soviet themed restaurant. It should be pretty epic, I reckon. Let's go and find it, it's up here somewhere, I think. Might need to ask this young man over there. Молодой человек. Молодой человек. Старый время ресторан. Вы знаете, где находится? So he said it's over the road up here. Let's go and check out if he's right or not. Check out this Soviet bicycle. I love it. Look at that. That is a beautiful bicycle. The same colour. The same colour as hospital paint. They love the colour green here. I don't know why they paint things in this colour like lime green hospital colour. It makes no sense to me, but anyway, that's what they do. Here we go. We're going through a Soviet kind of looking arch. Gomel is a very Soviet city. The architecture is very Soviet, but it's beautiful. I like that. The impression that people have of Soviet architecture is it's kind of brutal and blocky and grey. No, not really. I mean, look around you. Okay, that's not a good example. Anyway, let's cross the road. Let's cross the road if we can over here without getting run over. Thank you, they gave me a wide berth. And here we are in a restaurant called, I'll show you, Stari Vremia, which in English means old times, cafe old times. Let's go inside and look around. Interesting. Of course, yes. yes. Yeah, of course. Of They said it was very tasty. And so we need to try this place. Let's have a look. Oh. There's um, Stalin. <laughs> That's the first time I've been to a restaurant where Stalin greets you. But anyway, let's have a look in here. So they've given me the... Look, it's printed as though it's on some kind of... I don't know, some old Soviet. It says business. This is the business lunch. Let's see what they got here. Look at the prices. Now, just to give you an idea of prices, prices are the Belarusian ruble is one pound is two and a half rubles. So it's pretty cheap, as you can see. We've got salad, Belaruski, Belarusian salad. We've got shi, which is a type of soup. We've got fillet of fish, and it's all cheap. We've got chips. We've got ragu. We've got blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order something and um, Let's try it, should be tasty, should be tasty. Okay, let's check out this restaurant while I'm waiting for my food. Stalin, Churchill, um, Truman, of course. Look, the Odessa conference. Odessa, Yalta. Here we've got some old Soviet clock. Let's go through to the main lounge. We've got here Lenin, of course. Dja Dja Lenin. <laughs> we've got all kinds of cool shit here. We've got a Soviet banner. And then here, the piece de resistance is the bar. The bar is done out like a, um, like a tramvai. You can get some Redske, Redskoya. Nyet, Redskoya, Blin. It's a um, Belarusian beer, a good one. Recommend it to everyone. And then we'll go through to the next room. Here we've got the old SSSR, the old, um, whatever you may call it. More Lenins. Probably um, Dzerzhinsky, who was the head of the KGB, responsible for millions of bodies being killed. Here we've got the map of the USSR. Let's have a look. Kharkov, Kiev, Minsk. So we're about here. Gomo, in the old, what was then, the BSSR, which was the Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic. Here's Crimea. See that the Crimea at that time was separate. It wasn't Ukrainian. It was separate. Central Asia, all these places I'm going to be traveling to, bringing you videos from all kinds of places here. 
Caucasus is. Kiva, you can see there was once before. I don't know if this is interesting to people who don't know much about Soviet history. But anyway, you can see it. Now, then here's like a border post from the old Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic. We're going to go further. Here's the waitress in her outfit. We're going to look in this room here. Let's see what we've got here. Kind of a Central Asian. Kind of a Soviet Central Asian theme to it. And here is another one of these, whatever you call them, flags, I suppose. Here's the jukebox, we can put some tunes on. Melodia. Naverne ni robotid no suravno. Let's have a look. Look, this is what people used to listen to, the radio stations, Bucharest, Stockholm, Gizir, London. Where's my city, London, 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 here. We found it. Moscow, Paris, Kiev, Belgrade. Beautiful old Soviet camera, Soviet waitress. What? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, guys? Do you like it? I like it. Okay, let's put this here and wait for our food. Hey, check this out. I've just seen what they've got here some great Soviet coats. I reckon I should try one on. I don't know which one. Which one's my size? Maybe this one. Great jacket, so I can. Oh, flipping neck, that's heavy. Let's try it on. Oh, man. How cool do I look? Wait there. There we go. Now we can sit down and we can eat our meal in my great jacket. We can sit down like this, like a real Soviet man. There we go. This could be uncomfortable. But we'll manage. How do I look? If I put shades on, probably a lot cooler. Yeah, I like that. Me too. Hey, I can get used to this. It's a pity it's not winter, otherwise I'd buy myself one and wear one about. All right, where's my food? Here we come. Here comes our waiter. Let's give it a try. Spasiba. Vodka. Class. Right then, let's tuck in. Let's um, make a toast first. It's the start of the journey. The journey's only just begun. And so we should make a toast. What will be, will be. Here's to a good journey in the, in the former Soviet Union. To adventures. Ah, good stuff. Right then, let's try the fish, the salad. The salad looks a little bit grim, I must say. I don't think Gordon Ramsay would be too impressed by this, but it's going to be fine. All right, let's eat. But I'm going to switch the thing off because there's nothing worse than watching someone eat and chewing with their mouth open, bits of food stuck in their teeth. So I'm going to eat, then we'll talk again later. All right. Some of you who... Um, who have been indoctrinated to believe in certain things about the Soviet Union will be surprised maybe that in the former Soviet Union where so many people died, so many people were sent to the Gulag, that they have a restaurant glorifying that period. But to many people, especially to the older generation, the um, Soviet time is remembered with fondness. Especially the post-Stalin period is a time of great friendships between the people when great things were achieved in the former Soviet Union, that people felt there was a common purpose, something to work towards to achieve. And as such, restaurants like this are very popular. Products display Soviet packaging, mock Soviet packaging. You know, there's the um, um, Stalin vodka and Gagarin Weetabix. Oh, I can't think of any examples really off the top of my head, but there's plenty when you go to a shop, you see that kind of stuff. Um, and so the former Soviet Union, or the Soviet Union, in fact, um, is something that kind of holds a kind of a cherished, um, a cherished place in the memory of people who lived under it, you know? Um, and that's strange, because I understand the dichotomy myself. So many people died in the former Soviet Union. What, 20 million people were murdered in the Gulag or something? 18? I don't know. So strange that, on that, that happened, but on the, on the other hand, um, people still kind of like look back fondly at that time. Um, and the reason for that overall, you could say, is because what Belarusian and Russian people crave more than anything else is order. Um, 
that their savings won't be wiped out by, by hyperinflation, that the thugs won't return to the street corners like in the early 1990s in the days of bandit capitalism. They don't want that. They fear that. And that's why a strong hand has always been respected. That's why Stalin was popular. That's why Lukashenko, the cousin president, is popular amongst many. That's why Putin has such high approval ratings, because he stamped out the thugs on the street corners, the mafia. Okay, so it's kind of the government has become the mafia, obviously. But still, the point, the point still stands. Um, yeah, so restaurants like this are super popular with people. Nostalgic places. Remember the Soviet Union when everyone worked for a common cause. So let's toast to the Soviet Union. Oh God, that's not pleasant. All right, I reckon we get the bill and we get out of here. I've annoyed people enough by talking, disturbing them while they're having a meal. So let's get out of here back onto the street. All right guys, that was the Soviet restaurant in Gommel. Very nice it was too. The bill came to three pounds. That's for a slice of fish, some vodka, some kwas and some salad. I was um, very impressed. Спасибо, молодой человек. And so we'll get back onto the streets and get out of here. Back up the steps. Oh, look at this. The old Soviet telephone. Hello? Hello, is that Comrade Stalin? No, it wasn't. Right. Oh, Lenin. And that was that. I'm back into modern times. I'm out of the Soviet Union. That was fun. <laughs>